It's now completely possible to have a conversation with ChatGPT by just downloading a really small application that allows you to have a conversation where you speak and ChatGPT replies. Let me quickly show you some examples. How was the Football Association formed in England and when was it formed? The Football Association, FA, was formed in England in 1863 and is the oldest football governing body in the world. So which countries were the founding members of FIFA? The founding members of FIFA, Federación Internacional de Football Association, were representatives from the following countries. So England wasn't a mem founding member of the FIFA organization? That's correct. England, despite being one of the pioneers of organized football, was not among the founding members of FIFA. So this really is a game changer. This has completely changed the way that I work with ChatGPT, but it's a great way if you're a language learner of practicing your English, but even if you're just using ChatGPT and you want to communicate rather than write, which I much prefer, you're also going to find this really useful. I'll quickly show you what plugin to add in. I'll show you how easy it is to do it. Literally, it's just a few seconds. I'm then going to show you exactly how it works. It's just a couple of controls to remember, and then you'll be off and going. But I'll also give you a few tips if you are a language learner of how to really make use of this ability to communicate with ChatGPT. Really hope you like the video. And as always, if you do, please like it, please share it please comment on it and of course join me on my youtube channel i will put in some menu items so that you can jump to different parts of the video let's get going So let me quickly show you how the plugin works. You can see I've got it down here. I literally can, I can use it with the space bar. I can click on the space bar, hold the space bar down, ask my question, and then let go of the space bar, and simply uh, the question will be answered. If you jump over here, you'll also notice that at the moment I've only got English downloaded, but you can install more voices, and I will be looking into that because it'll be interesting to have, in my case, Spanish and French, etc. So uh, read aloud speed also tells you how quickly the reply is going to come. I've not changed that at all. I've left it more or less at the same. I'm going to click on close and let's just do a really quick example. I'm going to hold down the space bar and ask a question and then hopefully um, ChatGPT is going to answer my question. Am I right in saying that London has always been the capital of England? Yes, you are correct. London has been the capital of England, and later the United Kingdom, for centuries and has maintained its status as the capital throughout history. Okay, so you've seen how easy it is. I just hold down the spacebar, I speak. When I finish speaking, asking my question, my comment, I let go of the spacebar. That inputs that information in. ChatGPT then processes whatever I've asked or whatever I've commented on. And then it will begin to answer. It normally takes a few seconds, but it does an interesting thing. It answers both orally, but also it writes the answer on the screen. And, and for a language learner, again, this can be really useful because you can be reading and listening at the same time. Now what I'm going to do is show you the specific app, the plugin that I'm using. It's a Google Chrome plugin that allows this to actually work. Now I'm using a Google Chrome extension. If you click over here, just to show you where you can find your extensions and also to show you how easy it is to actually access your extensions, just come down to here, more tools, and click on extensions, okay? So just to make that absolutely clear, I'm clicking on my three dots here in my Google Chrome browser, coming down to more tools, and then I'm clicking on extensions. Now what you'll see is, you'll see all the extensions that I've currently got on, and I've got one here called Voice Control for ChatGPT. So how am I gonna find this particular extension? Well, to make this really easy, I'm gonna remove it, so that then you can actually see me adding this extension back into my Google Chrome. Just in case you're not familiar with ChatGPT, there is a video on the screen now with lots of ideas of how we can use ChatGP to study languages, and you might find that really useful.
So if you just write chat GPT voice control Chrome extension, let's just see what happens. If we do a search for that, so we just press on enter and there it is, comes up straight away on the front page, Google Chrome extension, click on that. And then the only thing that you'll need to do, it's really, really easy, you'll see that it's gonna come up on the screen. So the only thing I need to do now is add to Chrome. As long as you've got the Google Chrome, check in and then say add extension. And that extension will be now added on to ChatGPT. And the great news is, is when you open up ChatGPT, you'll see that it's there. So let's see if that's worked. So to access uh, ChatGPT, come over to openai.com. I'm just gonna log in. I've already got an account. Whenever I log in, it always offers me these three possibilities. DALE is also well worth looking at, but we're gonna click on ChatGPT and you'll see that the plugin is there and ready. Now I could start a new chat if I wanted to, and of course, hold down my space bar and start asking questions. Now there is another fabulous tool for language learners. It's called Natural Readers. I use it all the time. It's free and what it does is it allows you to take any text from anywhere, including of course ChatGPT, paste it in and listen to it read out. Now the difference with ChatGPT is the quality of the voices and the number of accents. For example, in English, you can have an Australian accent, a Welsh accent, an English accent, an American accent, and you can even choose from a variety of voices. I use it all the time, I'd really recommend it. Great for language learning, and if you wanna learn more about natural readers, there's a video on the screen now that you can click on that will take you to that video. Okay, really hope you liked that video, and if you did, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more free videos, and we'll be just adding this week a new section on AI. If you scroll down on the front page, you'll see loads and loads of new videos. Uh, if you want to keep up with my work, sign up to my newsletter. That way you'll get updated with all the free videos, the free webinars, the blog posts, and of course the online courses that I run. If you do want to contact me to do some training with your organization, you can also contact me from the website. I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen now about ChatGPT, and thank you very much.